So this is a short Pilates home practice and we've got dumbbells, a pair of those or the classic one kilo bags of rice. Quite nice actually, quite comfy. So I'm going to use those but if you've got dumbbells that would be nice. Lie back, hug the knees, hands on top of the shins, rest the head back. And you just want to rock around, crazy knees going in all directions. Soften the shoulders, lengthen the neck. Opposite direction, just slow. You can hold behind the hamstrings, curl up. So with the shoulder blades coming forward, shoulders are down, resting back. Hands back on the shins, curl up, arms extend, and then the legs reach. One more time, so folding, rest the neck, curl up, exhale, ribs to hips, arms reach forward, palms are up in this case, legs extending, and coming down to the preparatory lying twist, we're going to shift the hips to the left. Straighten out the right leg, bring the top leg over. Utilising our weights, left arm heavy, right hand on the knee. And you're letting the left hip body come up. Head turns opposite way. Option to straighten out the leg. A bit crinkly, we don't want that sound, so I'm going to go on to the dumbbells. <laughs> Bend the knees, hips to centre, hips to right hand side, legs come in, left leg is straight this time, right arm is staying down, perhaps using the weight to just urge that right knee across, high up towards the shoulder as well, head turns away. The breath flow into the right ribs. And releasing. We'll rock our way up to sitting. Coming into forward rest. Still preparing here. The toes down the end of the mat. Sit back to the heels. Bring the forehead down. Stretch out through the fingers. Just enough effort into straightening the arms. Elbows might be hovering or just lightly on the floor. Easy breath. Go around to the right hand side. The left hand comes off the mat. Use that as a pillow. Right hand up onto the tail. The hand can go right around the back and tuck under the thigh. Or just rest there. Roll the right shoulder away from the floor. Legs in the left side of the body. We've still got the hips sitting right back towards the heels. And change sides. Bring the arms forward. Lengthen. Left fingertips. Right arm off the mat. And hand around the back there. Or tucking under. So side stretch through the right side of the body. Left shoulder away from the floor. Keep reaching. Centralise again. All fours. Sideways cat first. So with the hands slightly forward of the shoulders, cross the ankles, swish the feet from side to side. Turning to look towards the feet, front side of the shoulder. And just to keep it even, other leg on top. And swish, swish. A little bit of padding under the knees, a little bit of carpet or soft mat, quite nice. <coughs> and then the standard cat. So we're rounding the spine, push the floor away, hollow out the belly, hollow out the armpits. Sitting forward, shoulders down away, from the ears, tail high. Coming and going. Go with your breath. 
Inhale to extend and lengthen through the front body. Exhale, tuck the tail, drop the feet are on the floor. Once more, no rush. Feel the belly drawing in, strong on the front, lengthen the back. And then letting the spine do the opposite to how it normally goes, hunching over in everyday life. Straight into downward dog, neutral spine, tuck the toes, extend the spine, keep the length as you reach back, downward dog. Hips high, push the floor away, activate the quads, thighs are drawing up. <coughs> Bring the knees down, sit back on the heels, and let's get those weights going. Alright, so starting in constructive rest, which means the feet are hip width, spaced out from the buttocks, slight slope of weight on the shins, resting the weights in the webbing of the thumb, arms up towards the ceiling to start, shoulders relaxing down, elbows just off lock. And inhale as the weights reach over. We're keeping the belly down towards the floor. And the exhale as the arms lead the way, curling up. It's like hundreds, but the feet are on the floor at this point. Inhale, overhead. Exhale, arms, head, chest. Moving in sequence. Moving with the breath. Might not go quite to the floor here because then you can keep the lower belly down more. <clears throat> Curling up. Same thing, legs in tabletop. <clears throat> Bring the knees together now, feet together. Curl up. Push the weights forward. Inhaling. As you exhale, might be your bags of rice here, might be one shoulder that needs a little bit of TLC and you might have a weight in that hand. The other option is just to use one, one weight joining the hands. In which case you reach above the knee slightly. And then the same thing, legs are going up towards the ceiling, definitely sloping away rather than towards you, slightly away. Exhale, curl up. Inhale, almost down, two to go. Let the breath be the leader. Paying attention to your posture, alignment and position in each of these movements. And go. Good, weights are down. Happy baby, hold the outsides of the feet. Just keep one leg though, and got the knee coming down towards the armpit, got the heel kicking up towards the ceiling, curl up, rest the head, straighten the leg a little, hold behind the hamstring, push the leg forward into the fingertips, keep that leg up as you change sides, happy baby, curl up. Let the head come down, starting to so the thigh angle stays about the same as you straighten the leg. Elbows down towards the waist, press the back of the head into the floor and keep that leg up, curling up, support the head if you need to, pillow, block, ball behind if you need to, hands there if you need to, otherwise arms are forward as you scissor the legs. Not quite coming to the floor, point the toes, it reaches away, flex overhead. For greater stability, holding the weights now. So if the hands are behind the head, just keep them there. Scissoring, reaching forward. And two more. Who cares? Here's the time. Beautiful. Bring the legs in, stretch the arms out. 
sway the knees from side to side. And we're coming around onto your front, roll to the side, or even better, rock your way up to sitting. So, onto the belly. Make a little pillow with the hands, rest the head. Swim with the legs. Try to keep the head still, the shoulders still. Reach back through the big toes. And lifting the upper body onto your elbows. Just reaching a little through the crown of the head. Let the head come down. Bring the knees together. Take hold of one foot. Draw it in. Heel towards the buttock. Or you can push away. Lift up. The arms are straight. Could be now for longer, but we're moving on. Foot comes in. Of course, you might need to roll to your side to get that grab. Straightening and lifting. If the knee likes it, if the knee says no, then it's a no. All right, back to forward rest. Knees a little wider this time. Push the arms out and forward. Back to the cat, so we've got the hand slightly forward, knee slightly wide, weight in one hand, option to not use the weight, arms reaching forward, left leg is extending back, looking down towards the floor, bring the arm around by your side, palm faces the thigh, and then leading with the palm forward, reaching, fairly steady with the back leg, keep lifting the belly, swish around. Imagine you push, you're pushing through water. Gently coming down, swapping sides. So a little in the middle, hand in the left. Arm reaches forward, reach back. Swish the arm around. More about the balance. Ah, little dog wants to come in. Once more, nice and stable. As the weight comes forward, drawing down, down we go. Hanging. And walking the hands forward, plank distance. Stabilising there, option for one knee down at a time. So we're lowering down under the forearms, no other. Keep tongue in the tail, keep pressing back through the heels. This could go on a while. <clears throat> but, easy peasy for now. <clears throat> Shoulder bridge. And then we're going to rest a little. So you're back down into constructive rest. Arms down by the feet. Fingers just touching the heels. Maybe standing on the longest finger. That would measure what works for most people. You might need to adjust if the arms are shorter or longer. Spread the fingers. Tuck the tail. Roll your way up. Keep the shoulder blades on the floor. Keep extending out through the knees. Strong leg muscles, legs moderately activated. Roll the way down. One more time without the weights. Neutral through the hips. And then tuck the tail, belly draws in. Rolling up. Gently. Tail again. And then the weights 
fingertips and the hands, the sequence goes like this. Inhale, the arms reach over, weights rest on the floor, palms are up. Exhale, roll up through the spine. Arms and spine moving together, gently landing down. Pause. Inhale, the arms. Exhale, the spine. Inhale, reach, lift. Exhale, everything back to the start. Just finishing that exhale. As the inhale starts, arms go over, rolling up. Lengthen as you breathe in, wait. And then as you exhale, smoothly down. One to go. Talking yourself through it. Get the coordination. Left thigh over right, left leg on top, pile of knees comes in, holding the shins, grabbing wherever you can, around underneath is good, more intensity, holding the ankles, reaching the feet out wide, so towards the hips is easier, reaching the way is stronger, I'm feeling this in the left outer thigh, curl up, Nose towards knees, elbows digging forward, shoulders down. Keep the left leg on top, rest back, intertwine more if it suits you, don't have to. Right foot's in the middle of the mat before you come into the twist. Let that leg come over. Keep your left elbow down, helping a little with the right hand. Expanding through the left collarbone, the left pecs. And then change sides. Bring the knees up, make sure your hips are central. Right leg will go on top. Nestle the knees in, no gaps, preferably holding around the shin. Press the back of the head down a little, little chin tuck here. Option, holding the calves or underneath. And then just bend the elbows and draw them towards you. And you'll find that if you're feeling through the right thigh, tilting away to the left in this case, is going to increase the stretch. Soft feet for this one. Curl up. Nose towards the knees. Check the shoulders. Be symmetrical if you can. And coming into the twist. So Left foot to the floor, make sure it's on the mat, and then twist. Right leg comes over. A little help. And final few breaths here. We're going to do a pause in and rest for a minute or two. Roll to the side or rock your way up to sitting. Butterfly position. Now we're sitting. So feet are a fair way forward. It's not how close can they be. You can go forklift arms underneath. Nice to warm the toes up. You can just press down on the shins. But letting the head hang or in front of the shins. Pressure back on the shins, helping the spine forward. But we're going to have a round turtle shell spine in this version of the broad bend. 